Okie dokie. Beans, beans. All right, we're good. Hey, everybody. Welcome to... Uh, yes, I'm going to use my, my announcer voice for a second. Is that okay with everybody? Are we okay with that? Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, uh, what is still currently known as The Collective, um, uh, our Wednesday Night Mongoose Crew group, uh, who are uh, in the in the muck and mire in many different ways uh, in the underwater beautiful. kingdom of yeah beautiful the, kingdom the of beautiful i apologize the beautiful God. exquisite where where nothing could go wrong and our prisons are the cleanest ever they're just um, downstairs they're just downstairs okay. uh the kingdom of honoria um uh uh <sighs> Let's see, uh, who is going to give us, uh, I think, so for everybody else, I've been actually giving, uh, points of DM inspiration to actually do a recap. So I guess, honestly, uh, Lorian, if you're continuing to do that, I should be giving you inspiration every single time. So, well, um, uh, I don't know if you saw Kayla, but I did finish in time. So you're off the hook if you want to be. It's up to you guys. Up to you. you I'm okay with it. that. Well, since I did rush to do it, I would like to uh, do the notes because it, it at least uh, validates <laughs> the rush, rush job. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, go ahead and let us know where we left off. Okay. So we left off with, um, so the group um, ends up back down in the dungeon to see Gwar. Um, basically, everyone was already down there. Eldrin and Noros just joined them. Uh, and long story short he tried to convince um eldrin that everything's cool because he uh forgave himself and that that's why he should be let out and eldrin is skeptical obviously um so she does a few experiments basically uh with magic to see um to verify his story she casts detect good and evil on guar and she sees a um a glowing white light on him which suggested that there was some celestial involvement um and then overall oh she also it was just cool saw like huge celestial energy coming from uh wilbur um so then she decided to um commune with persona again even though she'd already done that 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 morning and um persona basically confirms yeah what well, Gar's saying is good he's good to go like you can let him out um and then <laughs> Uh, in the in the midst of all that, too, um, the the potion that Zaris had given um, Guar weirdly smelled disgusting to Guar and smelled like death to Saren, but smelled like really really good to Wilbur. We don't know what that means, but Saren's mm -hmm. holding on to it. Um, so let's see. So Eldrin ends up letting Guar out. She talks to Volmos or fake Volmos, as I'm still calling him, for a little bit, um, and basically tells him that. She's trying. She's still trying to figure things out, um, but she'll make sure he's treated better than he has been. So then we go back upstairs to Eldrin's room so that um, Guar can uh, get his weapon back. So he can go. He can be reunited with Celeste. Um, before that happens, though, we do meet a guard named Loris who becomes very important later. He is the most important person in this campaign now. In this whole campaign. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So when we go back up to Eldrin's room, um, Anrin, her sister, is actually up there holding and talking to Celeste. Um, so we're able to kind of get her to leave, um, and Guar and Celeste take some time to talk. Um, basically, it turns out that, like, um, Celeste experienced, I think what I understood from it is Celeste experienced emotion for the first time from being connected to Guar, and that kind of messed her up. Is that correct, Joe? Um, kind of. It was more of the idea that uh, it was uh, there was some sort of transference of a, a negative energy, essentially okay. kind of like pain. Yeah. Um, that, so I, I have pain. like, yeah, that she felt pain and or, or they felt pain. They're not supposed to feel anything. And it, they were hurt so badly that it opened them up to tall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, Celeste tells guar after all that that they need to go away for a while um of course that is devastating to guar but he is um supportive as always um and he uh she also they she this is so hard <laughs> they also <laughs> um 
uh, tell Guar that Cerulius needs to be involved in whatever it is they're doing, and that um, basically reiterates to Guar that Cerulius had a job to do, and he failed by not taking Tal to court, um, and let's kind of out a little bit more about why that happened, and it has to do with Brumhilda, and um, that they, I don't know who they are, but they might find out about her too. So they, right. they end up saying their goodbyes, and Celeste asks Guar to tell Brumhilda that they're sorry. So Guar comes back to the group. Um, he thought he was gone for a lot longer, but uh, from our perspective, he was only gone for like five seconds. Um, and they had to they had to find the king. Um, there's some shenanigans that ensue with Generous and another guard, but basically it leads to um, Eldrin and the group being invited into the council meeting for the. Ex ch ch la la la. <laughs> I did not say oh, that, right? Ex, uh, uh, exit chittle. Exit chittle. There we go. Um, and trying to figure out if, uh, voting on if they could be added to the council. Or, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Is it ex uh, exit, exit a chittle? Okay. And then the exist, <laughs> exist a chittle is named Quetzal, right? Quetzal, yeah. Exit. Okay. Quetzal pretzel is how I remember it. Quetzal's uh, pretzels. Yeah. Um, so Corvo's basically sets the record straight with the council that um, even though I don't think going back through my notes, it, Erlin made it clear that it wasn't like a council member decision. It was something that Corvos just decided. So I think it was probably more rumors that the, like Eldrin wasn't in charge or going to be in charge in the future. But anyway, mm -hmm. he sets the record straight. Milo, of course, hones in on Jaros because he's the hottest guy in the room. Uh, Joe ruins it. <laughs> by making him less cool with his voice. Uh, I, I, like, it all, honestly, I was really tired of doing deep male, male voices. That, I that's it. really I hate it so much. Um, <laughs> the Mongoose crew um, embarrass Eldrin in front of everyone, like they like to do sometimes. Um, and then Corvos invited Eldrin to the council table um, next to Erlin. Um, Basically, it, the, the council meeting starts off fine. Erlin makes a statement in favor of adding the new member, whose name is Quetzal. Um, but then things start getting a little weird because uh, Darius um, speaks next, and he seems like he's going to argue against adding the council member, but after a slight pause, changes his tune and says he is for them joining, which immediately makes Eldrin suspicious. And um, with a, uh, a wonderful Nat 20 dispel magic, uh, Darius just leaves confused um, and dismisses himself from the discussions, which means that they can't make the final decision until after they get his vote. Um, so let's see. There's some tension with um, Dennis Senegath, uh, who is called out by Erlin uh, for glaring at Eldrin. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, everyone basically votes in favor of... Um, adding Quetzal to the um, council. Uh, and the weird thing is that Dennis, Dolmos, and Astolin all say yes while staring at Eldrin, which was very weird. Um, Wilbur is kindly translating all of this for everyone through Saren, who is then translating it in everyone else's minds so that they can be quiet. It's great. Uh, let's see. Um... Okay, so Eldrin finally is able to catch up with Dennis Senegath and tell him his son's last words and give him the um, signet ring and everything. There's still going to be tons of tension between them, but at least she did that. Um, and because of Wilbur and Guar, Loris embarrasses himself in front of the king, but it ends up being fine. <laughs> um, uh, Triton named Cedrin, uh, who is also on the council, introduces herself to Guar and Wilbur and is rejected by both of them in different ways. Thank you, Jaren. Um, uh, and then it, we basically end with like uh, Corvos planning to spar with Guar and discussing dinner plans and Eldrin talking to Zaris and finding out that Volmos is very much dead. Um, and he also gave her a blanket that she's not quite sure what it is. And we ended with um, Eldrin asking about uh, why Zaris's room was like scorched and Mila said eh, I, don't, I don't know and then that was the end <laughs> so awesome 
Very so we're cool. all in my room right now getting ready because we're going to spar in an hour. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, let's uh, let's dive right into the underwaterness of this scene. Wait, do I get inspiration? You do absolutely get inspiration. <laughs> Please take it. Enjoy I should it. have had inspiration every single session. Yes. And you took it from me. I did. <laughs> um, mostly because you were awesome and so eager to uh, to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I didn't think to reward you. So that's your fault. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, you guys are in the room. Um, uh, <laughs> you're, you're all in... in uh, in uh, Elgin's room, is that correct? Yeah. Um, question. Yeah. Noros doesn't have anything because he doesn't have his weapon. He was right. borrowing with Squars, and he mm -hmm. left that behind, I think. And yep. he doesn't have any armor. Right? I just wanted yep. to confirm that. Okay. <laughs> so Eldrin asks um, Noros, are you, are you planning on joining in with Guar and my father? I honestly thought if I don't have anything, I don't have to possibly fight your mother. Did you say my brother? Uh, mother. Oh, mother. <laughs> I mean, there's weapons in the training grounds, but you don't yeah, have to. Yeah, I mean, to. if you, if you, you think also, I should. No, I don't have to do you i'm just saying that if you want to i can we can get you some armor um just kind of looking around um or i, I lean in i say or we can let guar just have his moment if that's what you prefer I mean, he seems like he really kind of wants to so um guar i think you do you do hear like a uh, i think you probably hear uh, Noros go like, yeah, probably, probably not. Oh, come on. Why not? Because we left all of our stuff behind when we escaped. Oh, don't. All I'm sure that they're going to use some sort of sparring weapons. We're not going to use actual weapons, are we? I, I, I say, you think we use sparring weapons? Mm -hmm. I mean. You saw me give my sister the Biden, correct? That's <laughs> what she's training with my mother with, and she is. 12. His eyes just get really Goodness. wide and a, a big smile, this. a big smile like across his face like, yeah. outstanding! And then I say, if if you're learning how to spar in Anori and you can't learn how to pull back in a sparring match, then you have no business being oh, able oh, at all. Oh, oh, you're pulling back? Oh. Well, I mean, we're not Well, that's kill. that's the fun of sparring weapons, because then if you do hit someone, they don't die. Usually. Goodness. I'm gonna sit this one out. I'm not doing it. I'm not uh, fighting. Um, uh, yeah. uh, 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 sorry, fuck. Um, Noros, uh, Noros goes, no, I think, you know, honestly, actually, Wilbur can take my place. It's fine. No, I'm not doing it. I don't want to. And it's your mother-in-law. I say, Gwar, yes. I mean, if my mother will even engage in this, she's not happy with us right now. Um, but Guar, That's even uh, better. My, my my brothers once were sparring and they uh there is there i mean the trident went right through almost his hand i mean that's kind of just a normal thing he i'm didn't. not doing this and, oh. and I, say, I say in kanos's defense volmo should have gotten out of the way well obviously all right so good to know real weapons pull back don't murder got it you're also... I cannot stress to you enough how much I cannot afford to get hurt and die. Oh, no. Yeah, Wilbur, we're not... It's not to the death. No, not to the I'm death. I'm not doing it. You don't have to. I don't feel like I'm anything. great. I think I'm not doing it. it. Nope. I am... Uh, Give me some pom-poms. You have... Hey, you uh, have puffer fish. I'll Eldrin, wait. what's the most cowardly fish in the sea? Um... <laughs> Noros, quit being a clownfish and spar. Uh, okay, fine. Because I'm, because I'm not a clownfish. Why don't you go hide in a coral reef? <laughs> Quar, that's sincerely, that's extremely hurtful. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Uh, and then gives and then gives and then gives a wink to Eldred on that. <laughs> Just, um, do I see the wink? I don't. I. I mean, you can roll for it if you want. I do. I want to roll for it. Yeah. What do I? What do I roll? Perception. Uh yeah. That's a natural nineteen. So it's like a twenty-six. Hold on, I actually do have Noros's. Uh, I also hold on. Let me confirm that that's actually my. Oh, sorry, it's a perception. Sorry, it's a it's a natural twenty-four or a natural nineteen, so a twenty-four. Sorry, twenty-four. Okay, hold on one second. Yep. I'm sure yours <laughs> wins, but hold on. Probably wins because he has like um. Oh, this is on deception. Yeah, yeah, no, he's got a minus one. Yeah, that's um, a, he has a negative one. No. Yeah. Okay. Winks and does the wrong eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just starts laughing again. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I was gonna say something. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I I turned to Sarah and I say, "Are you gonna join?" Uh, you know, I I think the cheerleader idea sounds pretty good. I I don't want to kill anybody accidentally. Again, I mean, no one's going to die. We haven't had a death, and I look at Noros and I say, "I mean." I mean, I don't know. You, you've been up for 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 a That's year or so. True. No, I mean, they be. We have clerics on hand for this type of situation. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, speaking of, uh, Erlen was kind of weird. Yeah, I have to go find her. Did anyone else notice? Uh, Is that the I, one that I, wanted to get me alone? No, no. no. What? no. Oh. That's so in character, though. That's so great. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, no. Um, did anyone else notice uh, uh, Darius? Uh, well, I guess you don't know that name, all of you except for Noros, but that was really weird, right? His whole... He sounded like he was going to say no, and then he changed to yes. Is that the Wanted to get me alone? No, far. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you all look the same. I just don't know everyone's name. I'm sorry. I I look at um because I wasn't around them. I say Norris. Do you know who he's talking about? Um. It was Cedron, right? I think. I'm saying out of character. Oh oh oh. Um. I don't know, man. I'm all their names sound like cough um, remedies. I just. It's yeah. Cedron. Yeah, it was Cedron, but Eldrin Cedron, wasn't yeah. there at the moment. I imagine uh, that at this point, Wilbur would give Guar a small lecture about how if you can't even remember a woman's name, then maybe you're the problem. <laughs> God damn. It's just the Tritons that I just met five minutes ago. She introduced herself. That was like, that fail feels like it was a week ago. You just said it was like five minutes before. I said it felt like a week ago. Okay. <laughs> Where did you get all this newfound sass, Wilbur? Oh, I know, because you've become a, basically a god. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> You're entitled to it. That's pretty great. I'm just glad you're on my side, except for right now, for some reason. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, I think, I mean, as far as like armor goes, I, I'm sure Noros can borrow some, maybe yeah. from like one of the guards or something. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think he probably just goes and goes, all right, um, I'll, I'll be back. I just have to ask a guard a really awkward question and just walks out. Before he does, I say, I can get you armor. You don't need to ask a guard to borrow some. We have a royal armory. Uh, okay, yeah, that'd probably be better coming from you, so. Okay. So I, um, I actually, I do go out and I say, and I, there's a guard probably by my door since I'm important again. Mm -hmm. uh, and I say, uh, can you do me a favor? Um, yes, princess. My husband needs some armor. 
He's going to spar in the, um... Yes. What's it called? Oh my god, Larry, I can't think. Um, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I so saw... Is he taking his armor off? Yeah, he started to take his helmet off. <laughs> no, that's not what I want. I, I want... Okay. Can, can you fetch someone from the Royal Armory? Um, we don't need anything custom-made, but I'm sure they have something on hand that he can use. Something... I mean, he's the same size as Kanos was. It might be easier to just bring him to the Armory. I suppose. Fine. If, 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 it, if it pleases the princess. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry, there's a lot on my mind. I'm not really thinking clearly. Um, uh, no need for apologies. Okay. Um, well, um, uh, Sir uh, Anarath, right? Um, Pelagath? Pelagath. Sir Pelagath, um, Nor Noros, uh, if you'd walk with me. Um, uh, follows the guard. Uh, you see as Noros, uh, Noros is kind of like trailing behind the guard. Um, and, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Eldrin, do you like watch him go? Lorian? She said, yeah. Can you not hear me? Nope, oh, now I can. I said, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, you see him, like, as the guard is, like, marching very, like, festively. Um, Noros is, like, weirdly in a good mood at this point. You actually see him kind of make fun of the guard behind him and just kind of, like, look back at you. Um, <laughs> at the Sir Noros bit. Um, and you think, okay, that's, that's, that's my husband. Um, Tim. Cool. Uh, you guys go back in. Um, I assume that you, uh, you guys are getting ready, trying to put on whatever you're, um, putting on as far as armor and things like that. Um, I mean, Eldrin, are you putting on armor at all? No, Eldrin's not planning on, uh, fighting right now. She, uh, cool. I mean, she might be convinced when she gets down there, but in all honesty, right. I feel like she's like, she's going to be realistic. Her strength comes from magic. And sure. I'm I'm thinking that the rules are not to use magic, like <laughs> so, especially if it's yeah. as deadly as I made it seem. So, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. feels like an unfair advantage. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh, so as you guys get ready, you head on down to um to the training grounds. Um, you, uh, the first thing you, uh, the first thing that you notice as you start to kind of come down the steps to this, like, sort of, like, side exit into this, uh, large kind of outside underwater courtyard area, um, is you hear the clanging of weapons, you know, back and forth, um, uh, you hear the grunts of, of just full-on, um, attacks going back and forth, um, I feel like I had something for that. Um, do I see no. um, Anrin down there with my mom? Uh, as you uh, as you look around, you do see Anrin um, kind of in a like sort of a far off uh, sort of uh, distant area. Um, I'd say probably like so. You guys kind of come in from like maybe the southeast entrance, and she's like northwest. Um, so uh, probably about maybe maybe about a hundred feet away. Um, it's a pretty okay. big training ground area. Yeah. Um, How does she seem to be doing with the Bident? Um, she's pretty good. Um, she's, uh, uh, she's, you know, twirling it around, um, uh, doing a lot of unnecessary backflips. Um, uh, and, uh, you can hear, you can hear, uh, you don't hear like any words from your mother, but you can hear your mother like just doing general, like sort of shouting of like, stop that. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and uh and yeah uh and then you also see uh, you also see several guards that seem to be uh kind of sparring with each other uh uh rather relaxed um just kind of like going over like formations and things like that mm -hmm. cool um you do not see your father um yeah so i'll, I'll like i will and norris isn't down here yet no 
Okay. So I, I turn to the group um, and I say, do you mind just waiting here, stretching, whatever it is you need to do, Guar? I'm going to go um, say hi to my mom or my mother and sister. Okay. <laughs> so I, 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 uh, I go over the hundred feet to stand next to uh, my mother. Okay. Um, stand next to it. Like she's in the middle of it, I would say. Most likely, oh, she's so. fighting. Okay, okay. Yeah. I stand off to the side and I watch. Okay, cool. Um, so you see kind of a movement back and forth. Um, uh, Anrin, uh, uh, happens to, uh, kind of like duck low and is able to come up on the other side and, and actually manage to get, um, her mother under the, uh, like, like just below the armpit. Um, uh, and you see uh, your mother like grab the uh, uh, grab the Biden um, uh, from under her shoulder uh, from under the shoulder uh, with, with her shoulder um, and just starts to kind of like pull Anrin um, off. And you actually see Anrin go spinning um, out in a way almost out of the training ground area. She lets go of the Biden and she goes flying. Um, um, and you hear your mother. Uh, uh, go. Don't understand. There are plenty of training weapons that you are probably more used to. And then looks at you. Oh, is she holding it out to me? Nope. Nope. Sorry. No. Okay. Thank you. I was like, oh. Good morning. Morning. How's she doing? She's coming along. Uh, throws the uh, throws the the bite end to Anna, and just as she's kind of getting up, she just barely catches it. Are you here for training? You don't look dressed for it. No, I am not. Uh, my father has decided that he will spar with some of my friends, so I'm just here to watch. Oh, good. He probably. You probably could use to uh, the workout. Did he mention dinner tonight? He might have. Would you be willing to join us for dinner tonight? Anrin. Uh, Andrew kind of comes up, uh, asks for the Biden. Andrew kind of like slowly like gives it to her. Um, as Andrew comes closer to you, you can see there is like a like a slight cut um, on Andrew's head, um, which happens. Um, roll an insight check on that, actually. Uh, so that would, uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay, cool. Um, that certainly happens but not really from your mom. Your mom's kind of one of the most controlled uh, people yeah. on the battlefield. Um, uh, yeah. So, Anron kind of hands it over. So. If you win, I'll come. Wearing any armor... I should take off her armor. Why does it, I, I take the Biden and I say, why does it always have to be like this with you? Let's just see what land has taught you. Same rules as always. I'm not allowed to use my magic, correct? Do whatever you want. When you say Donna Wilbur and says, and so it says, do you think I could, I, could, I should be her champion? Uh, as she says that, I say, well, when you say it that way, I know what that means, mother. So, fine. Sure. I will, once again, embarrass myself in front of you. Let's go. Uh, roll initiative. Um, I'm still attuned to my Biden, right? I don't unattune to it just by giving it to someone else, right? Correct. 100%. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. And Norris is not back yet, right? 
Norris is not back yet. Eldrin, I do. My armor class. Eldrin, I, I, I could. Do you want me to stand? For, I could be your champion. I can do it. I have this guar. I mean, I, I don't mind. Take, I can take my armor off. It's fine. Guar. This is between me and my mother. Thank you. <laughs> you have it your way. I just. I just haven't had a good fight in so long. Um, I, I rolled a seven. Cool. Uh, give me one second. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, hold, please. All right. Uh, so her turn goes first. You see her kind of take a stance and um, decidedly uh, uh, decidedly waits in that battle stance. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So Eldrin will just... Uh, Eldrin will just try and hit her with her her Biden so she'll go in for a, a hit okay um I'm assuming uh 22 hits 22 definitely hits okay actually um no never mind I was gonna does it if I wanted to throw it is it the same like yeah, I believe so. Can I have thrown it instead? Uh, sure. Okay. Eldrin throws it. Uh, and no, uh, wait, I, I apologize wouldn't want to do that I... because you can't pull back on that. So. Okay, like, cool. I, I am gonna yeah. say I'm. I'm sorry. Please roll with uh, disadvantage as oh. she's uh, taking the dodge okay. action. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> eleven. Cool. Which is my armor um, class. Is that hers? <laughs> that is not her armor class, yeah. unfortunately. She's a little beefier. Um, She's better than me. Okay. Uh, as you... Uh, uh, as you thrust into mist, um, she uses her reaction uh, to... Where are you? Uh, to... Um, to actually attack against you with the other side of her uh, of her trident. Um, that is a 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. Um, that is... Uh, what the heck is the trident? Okay, cool. Uh, that is... Oh, gosh, okay. Uh, that is... 11, 17 points of damage. Okay. Okay. All right, so, uh, yeah. Um, Eldrin's gonna, I mean, I, I don't know how else to describe it, but because it's not as exciting as spells, so she, she's just trying to do melee with her Biden, so she's gonna go yeah. in for another, like, thrust. Oh, that was her reaction. Oh, Fuck you. Okay, go on. Uh, so it's her turn. She is going to uh, take her action to uh, try to do a trip attack on you. Um, uh, so she's going to attack first. That was not great. Um, that is a. That is a. a oh, that's only a ten. That's just under. Oh, yes. She doesn't hit. It's just under. So she sweeps low. Um, you can describe what you're doing. Um, if she, I, I, I think she sweeps low. Um, Eldrin's able to jump out of the way, it, like anticipate what she's going to do. Um, cool. um, you see, as she swings 
low through. She starts to kind of come back up and then uh, clocks you in the side of the face with that. That's because she has two attacks. Uh, she, because uh, I think that was, a, that was a 13, it was still pretty low. Is that hit? Yeah, 11's my armor class. Okay, cool, awesome. And it, yeah, even if Norris was here because of our ritual, I, it would only be 13, because I think I get plus two with him. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, uh, what did I say it was? Hold on. 13. It was seven. It was oh. a 13 to hit. I don't know what the damage right. was. I will say, I will say, I'll give you the 13 on that because that's fair. Because she is, she is significantly, she's a, she has a, she has a, a 14 armor class. So 13 damage? Is that what you, you just no, said I'm saying, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, uh, this still hits you, but, uh, your AC is 13, we'll say. Oh, okay. Just for the sake of this fight. Yeah. I don't, okay. I don't so want what's... it to be too. What's the damage? Uh, that would be for the second attack. Oh, that's not good. Um, that is five damage uh, on her second attack. Um, and uh, uh, we'll say role play wise, she had used the trip attack to try to come back. So that was just a secondary hit. So your turn. Um, and I don't get disadvantage this time, right? Correct. Because she didn't. Okay. I apologize for the late call on that. Uh, seven, eight, seven, eleven, twelve. You said hers is fourteen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So twelve. Eldrin goes to hit again, but I think because Eldrin has not learned as much on land about uh, melee, she's basically honed her magic skills more. She's using mm -hmm. the techniques that her mother taught her that she can anticipate like so easily. Fantastic, yeah. Uh, reaction attack, uh, that was a natural 19 to hit. Um, that is not good. Oh, that was garbage. Uh, that is uh, six damage. Okay. As she, I think she just probably just takes, um, uh, she just pretty much just punches you. Um, uh, I think like grabs your, uh, grabs your, your, uh, your Biden around the arm and then just punches you and sends you the other direction and goes, come on, try and show me something new. Oh, uh, God. Um, Gwar is a wreck right now, because Gwar is just like, no, get it. I feel like get. Wilbur is holding Gwar back. <laughs> it's like, go for the side. Or you're just, Gwar is holding Wilbur left. back. I don't know. I don't know. She's yeah. facing left every time. Come on. I mean, Wilbur's mad. I didn't let him dig a hole for me, so. <laughs> I'm sitting there, Wilbur's sitting there completely unbothered. Like, like somewhere, Wilbur found a scarf and sunglasses, and he's got the scarf wrapped around his head and sunglasses on, just you like a complete spectator. The blanket yeah. that Zaris gave me is just wrapped around you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just see, like, where the world like star, like, the sunglasses come down, like, right, yeah. Um, yeah. I think Eldrin at that, like, because, you know, getting, that's, is that was just a reaction, right? I got that was just a reaction, yeah. I uh, frustrated. I spit out blood, and I. Um, Fuck yeah. Um. Gosh, I say uh, fine, and then I I, I say you want to see what I've learned, and when she, um after she. Actually, yeah, no, I say fine. You want to see what I've learned? Hit me again. Uh... Okay, cool. Uh... Cool. Yeah, so we'll... Uh, she'll just use a precision attack on you, making sure it absolutely is going to hit, as you kind of say there. Um, but... Uh, no, that's, that's, yeah, so that's a, that's a 13, so that just hits. Um, oh wait, no, I have an advantage on it because of that. Either way, they both hit. Um, cool. Uh, so that is eight, 12 points of damage. Um, she hit, she actually hits me though, like, 
Yes, she actually. I think I think she actually just like kind of like uh, stabs right, and I think you probably like kind of glance the blow slightly uh, from your shoulder, but it does seem to cut into your shoulder. I uh, with that close my eyes for a second and use my reaction with yes. the wrath of the storm. Uh, and I'm trying to. I'm just looking at my feet of which one I have to do to do max damage. Okay. Um, Eldrin doesn't often do thunder. She usually does lightning. Uh, but she does, um, I, I think, like, thunder starts, like, crackling or, like, or sounding above. And um, it's enough thunder that, it, like, it, I don't know, I feel like it would, like, disturb just the area that we're in. Um, yeah. And it does um, 16 damage. Cool. Um, if she, but she has to do a deck saving throw. Okay. So she'll take eight if she fails. Uh, what's the DC? Sixteen. She fails. So does sixteen damage and it pushes her back five feet. Okay. Um, so you hear this crackling sort of sound coming out of nowhere, as the uh, as the 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 water itself seems to almost have its own sort of source of current around you both, um, as you. Uh, you have this massive blast of energy come out, um, and you see uh, from that attack this huge sort of. Uh, Wait, uh, hold on. What? Go ahead. It has to be lightning damage if I want to push her back, so it is lightning. I'm okay, cool. Like That's that. fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the same. She's not. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she's resistant to that. Yeah, no. Um, so um, she gets pushed back as that that kind of uh, arcing sort of like kind of connection between both of you sticks with it. Um, and uh, you see her also kind of wipe some blood off her, her yeah, mouth. The I 16 think I, was pretty bad. I'm standing there and I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm like wiping some of the blood off. I mean, I'm just glaring at her. Okay. Um, and, and actually, you, I, do say, I say, if you would ever let me do what I'm good at, I could actually beat you. Uh, You see her kind of glaring at you as she as she wipes away the blood and says, "Go ahead." Takes a running sort of start towards you, uh, and all of a sudden you see uh, fog start to appear around you both um, as you are completely obscured, and then you can't see her. So she's not going to do a second attack on me. Nope, it's her turn. Okay. Eldrin uh, is going to use. Uh, let's see. Eldrin's going to use gust of wind to blow this fog away. Fuck yes. Uh, yeah, she uses gust of wind and she yells, "I have tricks too." Awesome. Uh, of course, just like dying. On the yeah, I think um, uh, at this point, Guar, you see uh, kind of like this like gated door start to kind of come up uh, from the uh, from the side, different door than where you than where you come came in, um, and you hear some like clinking armor as if someone's coming down the stairs. Um, uh, you hear your mother just kind of give a give a frustrated sort of grunt, uh, comes at you goes to attack. Oh, wait, uh, it's still... Oh, no, Gust of Wind was my... Yeah, Yeah, it's, right. your, it's okay. your turn. Um, uh, that is a natural 15 to hit. Um, and she's going to use Menacing Attack. Uh, so... Two... Uh, that is 13 points of damage. Um, Eldrin is bloodied. Okay. Uh, so with, uh, with that 13 points of damage, I need you to make a, um, don't tell me what the, what the end of the roll is. Um, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Can I, if I have a reaction, can I do that first or does yes. that? Okay. Um, with my reaction, um, I 
uh, I do the um, what is it? Uh, the Wrath of the Storm again, but instead cool. I I do Thunder this time because I don't want to push her back, um, and I'm not I'm not gonna waste my channel divinity on it, so I'm just gonna roll it. So it's a DC 16 again. Uh, Dex. Uh, sh she rolled a 14. She failed again. Awesome. Okay, well, here's my D8. I'm so excited for Gore to fight next. It's uh, three damage. Um, okay. Yeah. And then, wow, that's such that, a difference at 16. Holy I cow. It's because I rolled. Okay, so, and now I'm doing, um, I don't tell you what the wisdom is, you said? Uh, yeah, just roll it and don't tell me what it is, because I, I was trying to think of a roleplay sort of uh, moment of this. Um, Saving three, you said? Yeah. Um, okay. So you see her kind of... Uh, um, uh, she she actually like she takes her trident and just like straight up like baseball bat style just smacks you full in the face with it. Um, none of this is in a like is in a like a a style of combat sort of thing. This is a straight like angry full force attack, um, and it managed to just like like kind of gridiron across your face as you're as you kind of have that crackling energy again, um, and she is pushed back in that. Um, and you see her kind of like yelling through these the, these bloody gritted teeth, which the blood is actually just like kind of like dripping up. Um, uh, uh, trying to think what she was saying. Uh, I can't do the yelling thing in here, but she she basically says. Uh, just goes, uh, come on, future queen of Honoria. Is that the best you got? Uh, what was your save? Um, I rolled a 10, but I get a plus eight to a list of saving throws. So it's an 18. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that definitely saves. <laughs> um, okay. So you knew the, you knew those words were cutting, um, Purposefully. Yeah. Okay. I think she's, because I, I, I'm kind of happy, I'm, I'm following that. I think she says, uh, come on, future queen of Honoria, this is pathetic. I think, it's, I think oh. is the phrase she uses. She's trying to get under your skin. Okay. Um, Good. Hold on. I'm gonna. No, you know what? Eldrin is very easy to get under Eldrin's skin sometimes. So, um, Eldrin uh, will. Eldrin will. Uh, I just actually charge her with her. Actually, no, she won't charge. She's gonna throw her Biden at her. Okay. Um, and let's see if this works. When you throw a weapon, um, can you, so, so I have Divine Strike. It says when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, is a thrown weapon the same thing? Yes, I'd allow that. Okay, all right, so yeah, so I'm gonna throw the Biden at her. Um, okay. Let's see if it works. Um, so seven, no, 18. That hits. Uh, that hits, so that does. I'm rolling really bad. Uh, so that does five damage plus. I'm also going to do... Uh, where's my feature? Um, yeah, so I'm also doing my Divine Strike, which is 1d8 thunder damage. So five okay. plus six, so 11 damage. Um, so it, I think the Biden hits her and, like, thunder comes like it like rattles like thunder when it hits her and then i uh just look at her uh and i and i say i can never do anything that's good enough for you and as i say that i let them i have the biden come back to me um how much damage did you do 11. okay As you 
send the Biden right towards her. There's no way to not make it pierce to be able to hit. Um, you see it hit her right in the stomach. Uh, uh, whatever Elgin's feeling, Elgin's feeling on that. You pull it back to you. Guar, you know that's a, that's a fatal blow. Like, someone's going to need healing really quickly. And obviously, Eldrin, you probably know this too, but, but you're kind of in the middle of it. Um, uh, Eldrin's not worried because she doesn't... D I mean, does she look bloodied yet? Oh, she's bloodied, yeah. Oh, okay. So she has yep. a lot less hit points than me. Mm-hmm. Oh. She's also been fighting before you. Um, so there's, like, in the idea of, like, hit points being also, like, energy that someone has, it's it's depleted. Um, Eldrin, uh, well, it's not my turn yet. It's her turn. Yeah. So. Um, you see her just, she just makes this, like, this, like, angry sort of yell sound, uh, comes and, uh, uh, you see her grab, uh, one of these, like, uh, these, like, fish scale or, like, shark tooth daggers out of her boot, goes running towards you, throws the dagger first. Um, to attack you with that. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Um, and then it Can I jump is... in front of it? You can't jump in front of the dagger that's that's flying. Okay. Uh, but you can, I mean, you can you can try to get involved. I would say this attack definitely happens, though. Okay, You're I, not really that I stand up and I start yelling, STOP THE FIGHT! Okay, cool. And, um, and you, you... you were saying when this was happening, like, a few seconds ago, yeah. that someone was coming in yeah like, absolutely yeah so i think war as you're yelling stop the fight um you see a very uh large figure kind of clad in 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 this like very shining bright sort of armor um with like uh gold like conch shells on the side and just a uh, uh, full-on uh, helmet seems to uh seems to look at you and then looks at the fight um uh uh, so that was uh, so the the seventeen hits from that. Um, she takes her uh, her trident um, and tries to drive it um, into you. It's an eighteen to hit. So what was the damage from the seventeen? I'll tell you in a second. Uh, I, am I there yet? Am I there yet? No, Can I block that there. one? This is, this is this is a turn, man. I have, uh, I have an idea for what I'm going to do next if I don't go down. <laughs> Okay, so. cool. Uh, the third att the third attack was a 19. Thir so three a attacks? Bonus action, quick toss for okay. the dagger, and then two attacks at that. So I, okay. Battle masters are fucking nuts. Uh, that is pretty low, though. That is... Uh, oh, wait, that should be a d6 anyway, so... Well, I'll, I'll put those up. Uh, so that was... Uh, that was only three damage from the dagger. Um, 10 damage from the second uh, second attack and then 7 damage from the last attack still standing okay cool um, you're uh, you are both face to face she is like seething right now as she has she has a trident in you she's not pulling it out okay. you just see her just do something Do it. Eldrin uh, drops her Biden and um, puts her hand on um, Illerin and casts um, Cure Wounds on her. Okay. Um, actually, let's see. Not Cure Wounds. What's the one I want to do? Did I get rid of Cure Wounds? Um, oh no, I don't have Cure Wounds. I have, um, uh, Healing Word, so. Uh, for the, for the, for the role play of this, let's call it Cure Wounds, just because it yeah. makes more sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Eldrin, um, drops her Biden and puts her hand on, on, like, her shoulder and says, I don't want to fight you, <laughs> and just cast Cure Wounds on her. Okay. Or, um, I don't know. 
I don't have Cure Wounds prepared, so... Is it a D4 or a D6? Uh... I don't know. Hold on. Right. I'll just do... I'll, I'll say it's Cure Wounds, but I'll do a Healing Word, which is like a D4, plus my spellcasting ability. Okay. Uh, uh, cure Wounds is a D8. Oh. So I heal her for like six hit points. Okay. It's more well, of a gesture. Yeah, the wound kind of closes up. Uh, I'm just curious, how many hit points do you have left? Ten. Corvos both see this happen. Uh, um, uh, Guar, uh, you see the Biden dropped. Uh, the the uh, the tri uh, Ilrin's trident is still in. Jeez, uh, um, in Eldrin. Um, I will give you a turn. Um. I'd say at that point, that's when Guar reaches them and pushes them apart. Um, okay. And grabs onto Eldrin and lay does lay on hands. Okay. Um, let's see, where's my lay on hands? I think I have all my, I think I have all my points. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll lay on hands for 10, 10 points healing. Is the trident still in me? Uh, I'd say when you push, when you pull, she would she would definitely have chosen to hold onto the trident if being pulled. Being I would pulled. I would think Gore would pull it out if 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 so if if not I mean. So, so here's the thing: I will allow your one attack to try to push Ilrin back, but we'll say it's an athletics check. Okay. Uh, uh, that is a 16. Okay. Uh, you try to push Ellen back. Ellen looks at you and says, this isn't your fight, and then drives it deeper. And back off. It's up to you. Yeah, and I, I, as a free action, I say to Gwar, I'm fine. <laughs> Through bloody teeth, <laughs> like... Your call, Gwar. Is this, is this normal? <laughs> yeah, is everyone in the, who was training now watching this? Oh, I think there's some people who have stopped fighting. Yeah, who have stopped training, are looking. You are both acting in bad faith. These are not the rules of engagement. Um, does that end your turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, Like that Wilbur and cool. Sarah are just like sitting on the side, like what's happening? Yeah, I was gonna say Wilbur's, Sarah. Wilbur's just like weakened and burning, I think, right yeah. now. Just... Sarah has her psychic blade like manifested, kind of hidden, but it's like she's getting ready. Cool. Uh, is it my turn or her turn? I think it's. No, oh, I healed I... her. Yeah, you healed her. Yeah, it's her turn. Um. And I healed you for 10. Yeah, so I, I'm at 20 HP now. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Hold on one second. I'm trying to find something particular. I feel like <laughs> Norris is going to come out and it's like, 
that person like walking in like hey friends and it's a fire going on yeah <laughs> By the way, Corvos was the person that was all clad in like gigantic armor, right? Oh yeah, very like um, ornate. What's his name in uh, Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah, the mountain. No. Uh, the king. Robert Baratheon. Yeah, Robert Baratheon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very like, it much. Doesn't okay. fit him quite right. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so she's going to uh, do a sweeping attack, and she's doing this to to basically get distance with uh, with you out of the way. Um, so I'm doing a little bit of a a, cust uh, a little little fuddy duddy stuff going on here. But uh, a creature move, she can spend one to attempt to damage another creature with the same attack. Uh, so, oh, but that wouldn't. Oh wait, so I rolled a natural seventeen. I want you to know too. I didn't realize yes. this until I did it. But she could take this as it is. If she understands healing word, it's a bonus action. So I could have done something else and I chose not to. Love it. Uh, she is using her last superiority die to to uh, take an opportunity to push you back. Um, we'll call this kind of like it's a sweeping attack, but we're using that action to actually push you away, not physically damage you, because that doesn't make any sense for her to do that. Um, so we'll say that it was 17 plus the attack. That is a uh, 22. No. Seven plus five. Yeah, 22. 17 plus five. 22, oh, right? Yep. 22 damage? 22 uh, on her athletics, essentially, to push oh, okay, you back. Okay. Uh, uh, do I need to do but a... also, oh, But it would okay. also hit you at the same time. So it's like the sweeping attack kind of like idea of that. Um, so Guar, if you're willing to just take it and be pushed back, you can. But either way, uh, Elgin's getting hit with that. Does me taking it absorb any of it? No. Um... But you can you can roll an athletics or acrobatics to resist being pushed. Yeah, back. absolutely. I'm going to do that. Um, that is <laughs> that is a 23. Amazing. <laughs> um, uh, are you wearing armor? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you you feel the like you feel the the hard ping against land armor. Uh, that has done one thing very well, and that's able to block blows from a trident um, <laughs> as it's pushed to the side. Um, she tries to push herself off of you on this and make one more attack. Um, technically, Guar, you have a reaction here based on, because she kind of moves herself out of it and then re-engages. So she's Which moving one? herself away from the, your, your reach and then back into your reach. Which I will use... Uh, which would be my polearm master. Right. So, where'd it go? And I'm using Celeste, I'm using blunted Celeste, so. Um, that is a 19 to hit. 19 will hit. Okay. And then, what is it, a 1d4 plus 3. Ends up back in the dungeon. <laughs> oh, that's a oh! I got max damage. That's a seven, seven damage. <laughs> okay, cool, nice. Um, so you managed to attack her at the exact same time she manages to do her second attack on, um, mm -hmm. on Eldrin. Uh, did I tell you the first damage? No. Okay. Uh, so first damage is. Takes damage equal to the number you roll on superior die. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So it doesn't damage to the same type of the person. Okay, cool, awesome. So it's just a normal, normal hit. Um, so that's uh, ten damage from the trident from the first attack. Okay. Uh, what's your HP right now? Ten. Okay. Uh, rolled a, a, a dirty. That's uh, roll, rolled fifteen total. Um, this is from the second attack as she. She gets hit. Uh, Guar, you're using your your actual. Oh yeah, you're using Celeste. Okay, cool. 
Um, just as a, I mean, literally, I'm reacting because I'm just trying to get her away because they've both been stabbed in the stomach, and that does, I don't care where we are, that does not seem like sparring to me. Yep, absolutely. There's also, like, I, I, I think what it might be interesting to Gore is Eldrin's not even like, Eldrin's like, Mark, get out of here. I have this under control. Yeah, so good. <laughs> but you've also talked about how, like, they're all good at pulling back or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. this is not, no one's pulling any punches at all. So, I'm just trying to stop uh, the fight. That's a 12. Okay, Eldrin uh, goes on the conscious. So, Eldrin's not, is saying to you to, like, back off, she's fine. And that's, like, yeah. So, I would like to, can we retcon this as, like, maybe she goes down and my reaction then it happens as a reaction to that? Is that possible? Just as no. in terms of role play? It's fine if not, yeah. I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, I would say if anything, your damage would actually be before hers. Because it's a reaction to moving back into your space. Got it. So I'm trying to stop her. I don't I just don't do enough. And you just don't do enough. Basically, mm -hmm. you you I think I think you're like <laughs> I actually basically probably runs into your pole arm. Yeah. Um like and then just manages to kind of reach out enough to be able to get uh Eldrin. Um Okay. Uh, I immediately drop to a knee and lay hands on, on her again. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I heal for 10 more points. Um, uh, Corvos finally, uh, ends up getting over to her, um, also starts laying on hands uh, and will uh, lay on hands uh, 20 points to you, Algen. Um, uh, you see, um, the rest of you see Elrin kind of take a step back. <laughs> back up, right? Um, you, you're back up. Corvos, Corvos kind of like takes his helmet, uh, has taken his helmet off to the, and looks at Elrin and like gives this like. Before like, uh, you can say anything, I, I, yeah. I just say, I guess I won't be seeing you at dinner tonight. Uh, Corvos, yeah, I love that. Uh, Corvos looks up, gives her a look, it's, uh, and Elrin goes, "She's not ready," and then falls unconscious. Um, Corvos seems to hesitate in this moment. Eldrin doesn't hesitate. Okay. She casts, um, uh, Let's see. She casts at fourth level healing word. So that's 44 plus four. Uh, let's see. She comes yeah. back. Oh, I mean, it's just 11, but. Mm -hmm. She comes back. Cirrus. I think the queen has had her fill of fight tonight. Uh, would you please escort her to the chambers? Um, uh, Ciros and a couple of the other guards come up and uh, kind of like help heal her into her feet. Um, and she, she says she's still kind of like clutching her side stands and um and seems to glare at a figure that i think for the rest of you you haven't seen um as corvos is a big guy and noros is not noros has been sitting on the sidelines or excuse me not sitting jeez that'd be crazy um has been standing there in like utter shock um of what's been going on and you see 
the guards kind of uh, move, uh, bring her past, and they share a look, uh, Noros and Ilrin, um, as she uh, is helped off the field. Clubfish. Um, are, are you are you all right? Uh, looking at Eldrin. Uh, if anyone's touching Eldrin, Eldrin like will shake them off and say, "I'm fine." Of course. Um, I've had enough of the battlefield today. Have fun, and I turn around to walk back towards. Yes, uh... Or whatever. Yeah, okay. Uh, watching you walk off. Um, Noros joins you, and we'll, we'll kind of, like, uh, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll have that scene in a second. Um, Corvo's kind of, like, looks around and, um... Is Anrin still there? Oh, jeez, good point. Um... Yeah, why wouldn't she be? I think Anrin. Okay, here's here's an interesting point. Anrin comes and because uh, you're like, are you still like bloodied? Oh, I only. I have think. 30 HP, yeah. Okay. Um, I think Anrin uh comes and like tries to get under your shoulder to kind of help you uh, off if you allow her. Eldrin's about to push her off, but then just lets her. Yeah. Um, she's been, it's, it's been, I think maybe it's best that we hold off on the sparring session. My apologies, Gwar. No need. I see you can also lay hands, or you wouldn't happen to be a paladin, would you? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, um, born and bred. I'm, uh, I'm the same, <laughs> but, uh, I agree. I, I don't have the taste for it right now. I, her own daughter. And think a lot of it is misdirected. Her own daughter. Guards looks at Corvos like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I think Corvus does say to be I wish I could say it is safe to assume that seeing how things ended she would have made sure Eldrin immediately got healing. Forgive me if I had broken any protocols. I... I'm still not used to your culture and how brutal you can be. <laughs> and I've come from a pretty brutal place. I assure you, dear boy. You are not the only one that broke rules today. But... I was... I, I was willing to stand for Eldrin and take those blows myself. Yes, well. I'm glad she has you. And I can tell just from the way you moved, you probably would have knocked me right on my ass anyway. So, allow an old man some dignity and... <laughs> Help me get some of this armor off. <laughs> this goes to walk up. 
I would be honored, Your Highness. And then let's uh, let's grab a flagon of something strong and tell stories. I just picture Wilbur looking like the guy from like Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is, so what's happening with the the sideline over here? Um, I'm too stunned to speak. I'm sitting there just like stone faced. And really unsure what to do. Like, Wilbur wants to chase after Eldred, but knows that it's probably not the best thing to do for her right now. Mm. Um, Saren. Yeah. Roll me a perception check. Twenty-six. Well, that's stupid. Hi, Saren. I'm sorry. Me and my plus 10 can't help it. Can you can you try again, please? No. Um, <laughs> cool. So the 26, you see... Uh, was it uh, Erlen left first? No, Erlen left and then Elgin left, right? Elrin, yeah. Ilrin, excuse me. Um, when Ilrin left, there is, you know, a lot of the castle is kind of built into this, like, coral sort of rock formation. So there's there's pieces that kind of, like, go up the side of it, um, very much like vines in a lot of ways, um, that allows the castle itself seem, seem to be, like, a living organism, or at least home to many living organisms. Um, you see some of the, like... Uh, some of these like tubular sort of like looking like living um i guess uh, anen uh, anemones i guess would be the best way to kind of like, like just like long kind of like finger like sort of things uh moving along the side and you've seen them kind of everywhere along uh in anoria um when you saw erlin pass you saw some of the uh, you saw some of the the coral um of a specific color seem to kind of drift towards her in a direction as if like kind of like moving in bloom towards her. Um, and you weren't really sure if it was like a changing current or because she was walking by or whatever it was. Um, so the first time you noticed that you shrugged it off and then you saw Eldrin do it and you saw it happen again. same thing elgin passes by the coral seems to kind of lean lean into her, almost as if it's waving to her elgin you didn't notice this is it the same color as when her mom walked by it's the same color you notice uh the bright pink uh like colorations of the coral seem to have moved towards them just for a moment and then kind of resume their station of just slowly of like just slowly moving um i think why i think for for a second um uh do you like motion to the rest of the group or do you just like yeah i'm just gonna I follow dad in Absolutely. No, no, no. I'm going to, I would, I would motion to them and I would probably like motion for Wilbur to, you know, kind of like if you, if you want to like hop up on my shoulder or something like that for easier travel. Um, cause especially cause Wilbur just seems really shocked and like doesn't really know what to do and might not feel like moving that much. Um, and you know, I'd offer Saren a piggyback, but I already have a wombat on me. So no offense. But yeah, I just, uh, I just kind of go, God, I'm like, let's get a drink. Let's go. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, we also, is get... this the first paladin we've come across? I think so. I think so. Because <laughs> like, Gore yeah. got really excited. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, to, for the record, I didn't. I uh, there was a, a lot of die rolls that led to this moment. I fully, w I fully was ready for Corvos to fight you. Um, <laughs> oh, I get I like, it. 
I like Corvus being a paladin because I hadn't written anything about it, but I feel like Volmos was also a paladin. That's just my opinion. Cool. I don't know, though. It makes a lot yeah, of sense. I, I think know. it tracks really yeah. well. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I have him as a, a paladin in the open sea, which was exciting for me to actually run. That's cool. But maybe another time. You guys can spar. Uh, you know, we've only been in Anoria three days. We've got true. <laughs> Not even, like two and a half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I still got to learn some fighting moves, some some Triton power uh, fight, like power moves. So you want to learn how to um, try and kill your child? No. Yeah. No, I don't. Pretty good at that. Pretty good. At I that. could have killed her. Okay, guys. If I had gone full power, oh, mm -hmm. call lightning. Mm -hmm. uh, um. So, anyways, back to um. So, um. Uh, Eldrin, you're uh, you're kind of being carried by Anrin, and and you know, uh, Noros is kind of doing as much as he as he thinks you'll allow. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Noros looks ridiculous. Um, super, super, like super shiny in the armor. Uh, very regal looking. Yeah. Um, uh, make an insight check, actually. Um, 13. Cool. Uh, yeah, just super real, regal looking, um, like just a bunch of like epithet, uh, epithets, whatever you call them. Epithet, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, he looks, he looks insane. He looks ridiculous. Um, and as he's, as he's kind of like carrying you and just, um, just so you know, if your mom ever tries to do that again, I don't think I'll be able to hold myself back. Okay. I don't think she are you, will. Are you okay? I'm fine. You know, speaking of holding back, um, Anrin, can you give us a moment? Uh, and just kind of switches places with Anrin to kind of be able to kind of help you up. Um, Anrin kind of like pauses for a moment and looks at you and um, uh, you see a moment in Anrin's face. You see the, the kind of like the cut is still like somewhat bleeding on the side of her face and she looks at you and you can tell I think there's probably part of Elgin that's like waiting for something like snarky. witty yeah. and yeah. stupid and snarky to say. And she just like looks and goes, um, I'm sorry. Eldrin um, will put her hand on Anrin's face um, and kind of like um, trace the, um, the cut yeah. and uh, do a healing word on it and say... You have nothing to be sorry for. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. That was probably a long time coming between her and I. I was really excited to watch you kick her ass. If the rules were different, I could have. Yeah, okay, rules, and walks away. Um, Noros uh, kind of chimes in at that point and goes, yeah, you were, speaking of holding back, you definitely were. Yeah. The... You, know if, you know if I saw it, she saw it. I don't know what she expects from me. I can't fight like she does, and she doesn't want me to depend on my power from persona so we're kind of at a standstill there where i mean i held back a lot and i still was able to make her go down albeit i went down first but yeah i'm sorry that you had to see that i'm sorry that Cora jumped in before i did
Do you want to talk about it? Uh, I think Elder and uh, kind of angrily starts to cry and say, I don't like emotions. <laughs> okay. Well, there's not much I to mean, talk about. I mean, what is there to say? Uh, how about uh, the fact that there's a good chance that your father might do something crazy to your mom because of this? I'm surprised that he said chambers and not dungeons. I did just as much as she did. So, we're both in the no, wrong. You, no, <laughs> you didn't. She was in the wrong. Everybody saw that. Now, let's... Let's go find you a dress that doesn't have blood on it, okay? Okay. You head off to your room. Um, the rest of you go to the armory. Oh, also, uh, do you mention anything about uh, Doris's like armor? When we're when is it when it's just him and I? I do ask. I say, are you? Are you happy with what you are wearing right now? And oh God, no, no! Thank God, because you look absolutely ridiculous, and I didn't want to hurt your feelings if you liked it. Listen, I can't. I uh, this this is something that is that is uh, incredibly honoring and horribly embarrassing at the same time. Yeah, it uh, it, it doesn't look like you. Please don't wear that to dinner tonight. Yeah, I I don't plan on it. Um, you know, it's your father's. I did not know that. Yeah, apparently at one point he was my size, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, um, you look ridiculous. I'm glad that we both can agree on that. I didn't want to hurt yeah. your feelings. It's a little uh, big, too, still. Yeah. We'll get you. We'll get you your armor back eventually. It was still kind of cool that your dad gave me his old armor. Yeah, that was right? very nice. It is. I told you he's going to try. Yeah. Um I mean I, I, I don't I don't have to wear it to dinner, right? Because of that. That's not No. You don't think that no. he's gonna be offended. I don't think he's going to be offended. Okay. I would be offended if you wore it to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> um I don't even think I can lift the grieve up to my hand in this. Yeah, this is... You're not a paladin. <laughs> um, and then he just kind of looks at you and uh, as, you, as you've as kind of gotten back to like the kind of like sort of smiling, laughing point and just kind of looks at you, gives you a wink and goes, you want to help get this off me? Yeah, there's a little fade to black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for everybody else uh, who is in the... Uh, armory, uh, I think there's a point where you're, uh, do you guys think you're letting, uh, Corvos go first? Like, ahead of you? I, I'd say I'm This is everyone, this is Wilbur Saren, and... I'd say I'm yeah. walking next to him. Uh, impossible. Oh, he's just gigantic? <laughs> then I walk... In this hallway. Then I'd he's say I'd, I would be walking behind him. Right. Me like is he taller than Guar? No, I said he's still smaller than Guar because he's trite. He's smaller than Guar, but he's also like the armor is okay. rather rotund. Okay. I'd say I, I was pictured be... your your yeah. dad is a little stocky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'm behind him, but like um, only because we can't both fit in the hallway to abreast. Um, mm -hmm. 
letting him lead the way because I don't know where we're going. Yeah. So you start to climb up the staircase. It goes it's directly, uh, I think there's probably like a, a pathway that goes straight and there's a pathway that goes up as soon as you go past the uh, the kind of like uh, portcullis door. Um, uh, you, <laughs> yes, you're going up uh, about maybe 20 steps, in, uh, 20, 25 steps in. Uh, um, you hear Corvo's just, <sighs> okay. All right. I nope. This is good. I need to. If we're going to oh. war. I need to be able to. Highness, Highness, give me your helmet at least. Give, give, give me your weapon. I'll carry something for you. No, no. I, I can, I can, I can do. It. Okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I would. I could. I, I would try it on if it wasn't so small. Like. Well, there's no offense. You, I'm just. A, I'm a foot taller than you, so I. Yes. Uh. Uh. Okay, well, we're almost there. Uh, so there's about a good 10 minutes of you just waiting behind him on the stairs. Um, <laughs> as he finally, uh, as you all finally get up to the armory. Uh, the uh, armory of uh, Honoria is very Trevor, uh, treasure trovish. Wow, that's a hard word to say, treasure trove. Um, uh, you see a lot of, a lot of like, uh, weapons made of illustrious silver and gold and um you see there's a there's a huge like kind of like side sort of area where the rest of like the weapons for all the like military figures would would be able to get to um but this is like the king's like sort of side of this um and you see there's just a, a there's just a bunch of like really cool shit in here Are be able to see. I mean, are these weapons are probably mostly ornate, right? Are they actually usable in battle, or are they just oh, pretty? There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Okay. Uh, Guar, roll me a d6. D6. Okay. And actually, we'll we'll do this. Uh, Saren and Wilbur, roll me a d6. I got a two. Okay. Three. Also three. Um, I wanted you to get a four. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, both of you, go ahead and re roll. A four. <laughs> Two. Uh, re roll. Uh, uh, Miranda, go ahead and re roll. Five. Is Milo just chilling with Duchess? Milo thinks she's chilling with Duchess. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna take a little breather out there and just head out. Uh, Is Gerard in here with us too? Doesn't interest you? Where are you going? <laughs> uh, Gerard is in with you guys. Yes. Okay. For for Guar, this is like Willy Wonka when they go into the chocolate room. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, you see a... Uh, a very interesting-looking, like, um... Is that, is that what it is? Hold on. Okay, that's nothing. Okay. Um, you see an interesting looking like, um, at first what looks to be like a pile of like, a pile of rags, but it, they're very, it's like a very bright turquoise uh, color. Um, and uh, there's a, a bright, it's like, it's turquoise and red and they kind of look like robes that would kind of like wrap around each other sort of thing. I'm trying to think of how to explain it. It's like kind of like a curious, but it is much, it almost looks kind of monk-like. So, it, so it's like a garbs that look a little monkish in a way. Uh, but they're about like, they look to be about the uh, size of a vest. Um, but you also notice there seems to be like, um, uh, it looks like there's these like veiny sort of uh, material that kind of goes past, um, goes past the thing and uh, goes past the, the, uh, the vest uh, in the back. Um, 
and you see it kind of draping almost as if it's like um almost in like a like kind of like a like a peacock tail sort of way um it's very brightly colored so it's probably just the first thing you saw when you came in here um uh so that's what you see uh wilbur you see a very interesting looking um Uh, you see a very interesting looking uh, fan that is like propped up on a mantelpiece. Um, you can see uh, what looks to be some sort of picture of a uh, a hooded figure um, uh, that is surrounded by what looks to be waves that almost kind of make a perfect circle around um, uh, around like a like almost like a halo behind the person's head. Um, Looking at the like spokes that the that the the fan has, it spokes. Yeah, I guess spokes. Um, you can see that the actually the points. There's like kind of like very like sharp points at the very ends of each part of the fan. Um, and then, um, so this is kind of funny. This might be, uh, well, uh, um. Saren, you see a shield that is kind of propped up in a corner that looks pretty freaking damaged. Um, you see there's a there's like kind of a mark in the center of the shield <laughs> that has like uh, kind of uh, rip, uh, is it rippled out? Uh, like how glass, like when you hit glass and it kind of what's the what's the phrase I'm looking for? Like it blooms out. You know what I mean? That works. Yeah. Shatters. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it has like a shatter sort of pattern to it. And you see that mm -hmm. it looks like it is, um, it's a single sort of like small like buckler size. And then there's a piece underneath it that looks like it's only like part of the piece. And then a piece underneath that that looks even more tattered. Um, uh, uh, the the like kind of like buckler area in the middle, um, there is this like what looks like might be gold, but maybe even like shinier than that, like in a very like almost uh, luminescent sort of quality, this this yellow looking kind of gem is sitting in the middle. Um, uh, for the record, uh, you guys can can uh, do whatever you want as far as uh, talking about these items. So. I'm going to take I'm the just... fan off the shelf. Okay. Uh, just like right in front of the king? Yeah. Okay, cool. How does it look? Um, oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, quite mysterious. I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it looks it looks very... Hmm. Why oh, did I picture mean... that Wilbur is like Klinger from MASH, just constantly playing dress-up, trying to get... <laughs> Trying to yeah. get dismissed. I love that. Um, <laughs> oh, what a mysterious also, wombat you've become! You're so intriguing. Uh, I think at first, like he's like he's like kind of like being like careful putting things, like probably wanting you to put it down, and then like do that again. <laughs> this is like the closest thing I have to me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Looks at the rest of you. <laughs> Why is this like the, the monkey with the symbols? It's like Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Does that's, Wilbur that's... like Corvos now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was quick. Um, <laughs> you got a fan. <laughs> I mean, well, honestly, all it takes is for the parent to not beat the shit out of Eldrin, and Wilbur's like, all right. <laughs> Um, All right, we're cool again. <laughs> so yeah, so you, so you pick up the fan. It yeah, does you not do murder. That. Okay. Yeah, you 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 pick up the fan. You do that. Hmm. Do you want it? Does it um? Does it does it just do this? Does it just fan? No. Okay. What else does it do? It's also a flipper. I'll tell you in exchange for one thing. 
Okay. I'll say two things, actually. One, protect my daughter with it. Okay. And two, I know I made quite a bad introduction, but allow me a second chance. I mean, summer is coming, Wilbur. And three, give me some of your fur to give to Zaris. <laughs> three, give me your hair. Um, give me your hair. Zaris said that you are willing to no. <laughs> he holds up a he holds up a plastic bag. Will you put your hair in this <laughs> and your poop? <laughs> and your poop, please. Squish it together, Wilbur. Wilbur what do you say? <laughs> okay, deal. That's a good puts, deal. Puts out a big mint. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry I yelled at you, and said unkind things to you, and probably more unkind things about you in my head. I. All right. I don't remember you saying unkind things to me, but so. Oh, he did. He he rolled a nat twenty and like dropped the mic, Joe, and said like something like yeah, you be ashamed of yourself and like. <laughs> yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. This is your daughter. Again, I mean, I think shit. not. Not. Yeah. Um, I don't think he said and then, piece of shit. But <laughs> well, and, and then I said, "You could have really liked us. You could have really liked us. I yeah, ruined I it. it. I ruined the 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 gravitas of the yeah. moment." Wilbur, <laughs> are you shaking the man's hand? Yes. Yes, I'm shaking his okay. hand. <laughs> it's yours. Um, all of you can choose something in here. Uh, Saren, I, I noticed you were looking at that shield. Yeah, wait, wait, what else does it do? I'll tell you in a second. Anyway. What, what a sweet little shield. Is it, that'll protect, oh, that'll, that'll protect your kneecap. Um, I think at this point, as you see, uh, do you pick it up, Saren? Sure. Yeah, so you pick it up and you see this like, shing, shing, as it, as it like gets much bigger in a, in a almost like a tower shield sort of way. Like it's just longer. Um, so it oh, can I have that? Off. I don't have a shield anymore. <laughs> yeah, you gave it to me and then I left it. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know, man. It's pretty cool. I, I it is. I, I can't take that from you, Saren. That that's pretty sweet. Wow. So um, what's up with this? Oh well. Uh, it's a, it's a storm crash shield. Okay. What's a storm crash shield? That's a, it's a great shield. I'll tell you all about it. Gwar, would what Gwar are you know what that, you, I know what that, that is, real quick. Place. Would Gwar know what that is? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, are you so, are you familiar with uh, with Anorian uh, high <laughs> magic weaponry? Not at one bit. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I so Gore would have just been like, "What's that?" Yeah. Um. Oh. Uh. Well, there's. I mean, there's a lot of. No, no, the bright blue thing that looks. Uh, it's very okay. flowy and pretty and and. Yes. Well. Um. Is it, is it a curious? What is it? Is... Um. Uh, it's called a. It's called a. A, a dragonfly's gossamer. Oh. So dainty. Can I try it on? Um, yes. Uh, you know, uh, Guar, there's tons of, like, uh, armor around here that, you know, might be befitting you. Are you sure you're... I mean, it was just the I first mean, thing I saw. I, mean, I, I Honestly, I mean, the the, sh the shield Saren's holding might... Oh, well... I mean, yeah. I don't want to take the thing that, that she saw first. She has dibs. I mean, try it on. I uh, will. He, he, as you're trying it on, he starts to explain everything uh, as Miranda walks away um, of the items that you guys have. So I'll, I'll put, put Miranda's item last. Um, okay, you ready, y'all? Mm -hmm. Don't say I never gave mm -hmm. you anything. Well, you give me um, something to take it away, so. 
That's right. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. And I might take this away too. We'll see. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, Stormcrash Shield. Uh, Stormcrash Shield. You have a plus one bonus to your AC while you wield this shield in addition to his normal bonus to AC. So plus um, three, right? Yep. Yeah. So that'd be a plus three shield and all. Uh, Lightning. When you score a critical hit with a melee weapon attack while you wield this shield, you can immediately use a bonus action to activate the shield, dealing 1d6 lightning damage to the target. Thunder. While you wield this shield, you can use it to absorb deadly strikes. Immediately after you are critically hit by an attack, you can use your reaction to reduce any damage you take to zero. Uh, and the shield emits a thunderous boom heard up to 300 feet. Any other effects of the critical hit will uh, still occurs. You must use this reaction before damage is rolled. Once this property is used, the shield breaks and cannot be wielded again until it is repaired. The shield can be repaired over the course of a short or long rest by a creature by a creature proficient with smith's tools expending materials worth at least 25 gold Sweet. um the uh i guess it kind of has two names right now so it looks like it's actually supposed to be the siren wing lift uh but dragonfly gossamer sounds cooler so whatever um uh these wings were designed as part of an exercise on exploring different methods of light and fall protection. Oh, wait, wait, that's not the real thing. Hold on, let me try it again. Uh, Siren wing lift. Wondrous item, very rare. In their inactive state, these wing lifts are folded tightly against your body. While you wear these wing lifts, you can use an action to unfurl them, granting you a fly speed of 50 feet. This benefit lasts for an hour until you use another action to fold them again. Once the benefits end, the wing lift can't be used to fly again for 1d12 hours or until you finish a short rest. Oh my god, Kawhi's um, going to be amazing. He's an avenging it, angel now. <laughs> yeah, I don't get you, wings till level 20, so... Yeah, I think what I'll probably do on the, the adjustment of this, I'll just say you can do it once per short rest, because um, that's just that's so much easier. Yeah. Um, additionally, each wing lift includes an additional property determined by their appearance, which you can only use while they are unfurled. Um, this is specifically the Dragonfly's Gossamer. Um, when you make a dexterity saving throw, you can use your reaction to gain advantage on the roll. After the roll is resolved, you can immediately fly up to 15 feet as part of the reaction. Uh, once used, this property can't be used again uh, again until the next down. Now, as a DM, I had you randomly roll this. Uh -huh. It's up to you all whether or not you want to trade. I mean, Eldrin just comes in and says, they're all mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're just the seagulls from up, or not up, uh, Finding Nemo. Mine. While you guys, while you guys are deciding this, fan of the Wind Walker. Uh, cool, because if Wilbur dies, he goes to the plane of air, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, cool. This I'm thing glad, I'm is, glad we're thinking about that. This thing is fucking cray. Um, this folding fan is used only by those familiar with its design. It is a martial weapon with the finesse light and thrown properties with a range of 20 to 60 feet. On a hit, it deals 1d4 bludgeoning damage while closed or 1d4 slashing damage while opened. Finally, wielding this weapon in its open state grants you half cover against range projectile attacks. Um... Uh, weapon of wind you have a plus two bonus uh attack and uh you have a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon which deal an extra 2d4 thunder damage on a hit immediately after you make a ranged attack roll with it uh it teleports back into your hand after you hit or miss with it additionally wind either magical or natural cannot impose disadvantage on ranged attack rolls made with this weapon so essentially no fog cloud no oh wait Additionally, wind, oh, wind either magical or not. So any, like, sort of wind sort of thing that happens cannot pose disadvantage to this weapon. Uh, Gale Blast. While you wield this fan, you can use an action to produce a burst of wind in a line that is 40 feet long and 5 feet wide, originating from you. Unattended objects in the lines are pushed to 50, uh, up to 15 feet away from you in the direction of the line. Large or smaller creatures in this line are also pushed this way unless they succeed in a DC 17 strength saving throw. A creature that fails this, save by five or more, also take 1d6 bludgeoning damage from the wind. I'm not done. Breeze step. As part of the movement you spend to jump, you can swing the fan to triple your jump height and distance. 
Additionally, when you Ooh. take fall damage, you can use your reaction to have the damage you take. Uh, last one, wind walk. While you wield this weapon, you, you you use an action to cast gaseous form with it without requiring material components targeting only yourself. Once cast, the spell can't be cast from it again until next time. Like what I have with my um my robes if I ever get them back. Yep. The gaseous form thing. Can you oh, picture Wilbur shit. in his celestial state just like... in the middle of battle <laughs> just <laughs> having like sending a gust of wind 20 to 40 feet? I That's just fucking wanna... scary. I just want, like, Wilbur, like, because not everyone will know that it's, like, that fan is a threat, but, like, Wilbur just, like, flips that fan out and just, like, like, fans himself, and we know that that's a threat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tornado, bitch. So good. Uh, so, yeah. So, so anyways, Guar so that's, goes, that's, Guar that's all of it. That I remember, at least. Yeah. Uh, Guar goes over to Sarah and goes, okay, so I need a shield. That shield uh, is amazing. Guar. You but know, I can you're fucking gonna, you're gonna fly. Help oh, you're gonna oh, right. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I, I got excited. You can keep talking, but you're doing that while you're, yeah. Yeah. So I keep talking. So I, I mean, that shield is amazing. That could really help, especially while, while, while Celeste isn't around. I have, I have my, my wind saber that can also cause a gust of wind. Uh, I, I feel like with the shield, I would be, but I can fucking fly with this. Well, I mean, I kind of need both my hands for my weapons anyway. Flying sounds oh, really man. cool, so... Oh my god, imagine a flying Saren. <laughs> As a reaction, by the way. <laughs> oh, you're As a reaction right. Fly That's insane. Anyway. Yes, you're but... right. Oh my god, imagine never... Saren disengaging. <laughs> especially they, they, especially with, 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 like, surprise attack or something, like... Okay, so like, yeah, as as Saren, as you're describing that, I, my uh, my eyes just get bigger and bigger and bigger. You're like, wait, no, you need these way more than I do. Hold on, sorry, I'm Majesty. Take off the thing. Like, here, this is this is you. This is you. I, oh my god, I'm so glad you're on my side. Oh my god. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. And I pulled up the the piece of armor off. Ugh. And, and I, I put the she. I put the like the the buckler on my arm. You put the bug. Um, you can oh. choose, uh, like at least, um, uh, role play wise. Like it just looks like a buckler right now. So sure. You can choose. You just kind of like do this, and it's just... it just goes ching ching ching. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's sick. Um, I did not make these items. Uh, uh, shout out to Arapocly, if they ever see this. Um, they're pretty. Thank you, Arapocly. Yeah. I have a shield. Uh, I can fucking fly. Ooh, okay. You can fucking fly. <laughs> I, have a, I have a falling fan. You have a fan of death. Yeah, I do. Dude, I could fly and then throw my little hummingbird thing. <laughs> just oh my god. Go. I think you just became the most OP'd person other than Wilbur. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? With this fan, I'm basically the atmosphere. I love it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, at that point, I was, okay, well, uh, I think I can take it. Nope, Guar, I think I can take it from here. Thank you. Uh, you sure? I mean, I've got this really cool shield now, so I can, I, I, I'm in your debt, Your Majesty. I, I, this is fucking unreal. I mean, nope, and imagine I, I get a flight for this. That's great. Please stop touching my pants. Those are just pants. Oh no, I was touching the shield. Oh no, no, no. you you were in tra you were yeah. That's fine. Oh, that's not oh, sorry. I just got it. No. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. No, it's it's fine. It uh, felt the I, same. I don't know. Truly I hope you all uh use these gifts again. Um just you know, just look out for. Them. I don't I don't think uh not to be rude, I don't think she really necessarily needs any of you, but just in case. <laughs> Thank you. Your Highness, you're, you're, you're absolutely correct. I, I, I don't think she needs us to protect her. I think, uh, 
it's it's nice that we're all friends. That's all I'll say. Indeed. Oh, and there is much trouble ahead. So, but before that, um, dinner. Yeah. Uh, and I think we kind of like fade to, fade to a quick black on that point, and we'll uh, use that point to take our ten minute break. Um, so it's almost about to be 10.35 right now. We'll call it uh, 10.45 coming back in. Um, so we will see you all then. Bye-bye.
What? Hello. Hello. It's uh three minutes past the time that you all were supposed <laughs> to be back. <laughs> Did you like that both Rain and I both got I, at the same time too? <laughs> I never moved, so I love it. That's good. <laughs> I had to re uh I had to air fry my Wednesday Wendy's fries. My Wednesdays. <laughs> my Wednesdays fries. <laughs> oh no. Guys, guess what? We're getting our, our puppy on Friday. Little Link is coming home. Oh, my nice. What kind of pup? He's a Basenji. So he's Bless gonna you. The, <laughs> he's going to be the uh, biological brother. They have the same dad. Although his awesome. dad's been dead seven years, but they had his Aww. sperm frozen, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh, hold fast, y'all. Uh, for some reason, there's an error that occurred, I think, two hours in, so I don't think we missed a lot, but we might have to split this into two spots, so...